Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations. Dialogue number three. Types of baggage. The following dialogue is related to Unit 2 Travel from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 2.5 Types of Baggage 2.6 Baggage Limits 2.9 Restricted Items in Hand Baggage In this dialogue, Sadia, Ali and Obasi, other refugees, and the Canadian Orientation Abroad Facilitator are in a Canadian Orientation Abroad session. The Canadian Orientation Abroad Facilitator explains the types of baggage, the limits of items one can bring on the plane, and restrictions for hand baggage. The Canadian Orientation Abroad Facilitator, Sadia, Ali, Obasi, and other refugees are in the Canadian Orientation Abroad room. They have taken a short break and are now ready to resume the session. I hope everyone had a nice break. Now, it is time to talk about the different types of baggage. There are three types of baggage. Personal items, hand baggage, and checked baggage. Does anyone know how they are different? Personal items and hand baggage are baggage you can bring with you on the plane. That is right. What about checked baggage? Checked baggage is baggage you do not get to bring to your seat on the plane. Correct. Let me show you how the three types of baggage are different in size. This is an example of checked baggage. It is a large piece of baggage and usually has wheels. It is the largest type of baggage passengers can bring. Each airline has its own baggage limits. So, you will have to check your itinerary or ask IOM staff about your baggage limits. That piece of baggage is big. The airline puts checked baggage in the storage area of the airplane. Passengers are given a receipt when they give this baggage to the airline. You will need to keep the receipt and present it in case your baggage is lost. You will collect this baggage at the end of your flight. I see. I will not bring checked baggage with me onto the airplane. Instead, I will drop it off at the airline check-in counter before I get on the plane. That is correct. When our flight is over and we get off the airplane, how do we reclaim our checked baggage? When you get off the airplane, inside the airport, you will find a baggage claim area. There, you will be able to collect your checked baggage. But make sure you write your full name on all of your checked baggage. And because checked baggage is often similar in size, shape, and color, you must be able to recognize your own baggage. Make sure to add something to the outside of your checked baggage so you can recognize it easily. What should we add? Bright colored ribbon or string, tags with your name on it, tape, or anything else that will help you see your checked baggage. Tie these very tightly because they could easily fall off when being moved around. Okay, thanks for clarifying that. What do we pack into our checked baggage? Anything you do not need while you are on the airplane. Clothes you do not need in the airplane should be all packed into your checked baggage. Canned food and cosmetics are good to pack into checked baggage. Your children's toys and religious items all need to be packed in your checked baggage as well. What about books? 
and dictionaries. I have a lot of them because of my job. They should be packed into your checked baggage. Also, any liquids, creams, and gels that are more than 100 milliliters each should also be packed in checked baggage. What about alcohol and cigarettes? Both of them should also be packed in checked baggage. Note that only up to 200 rolled cigarettes, 50 cigars, and 200 grams of manufactured tobacco are allowed. For alcohol, up to 8.5 liters of beer, or 1.5 liters of wine, or 1.14 liters of liquor is allowed. You may need to pay taxes on those when you arrive in Canada. I see. Okay. I have written it down. Great. We will now talk about the second type of baggage. Personal items. Personal items are things you carry with you onto the airplane. These are small items, like a laptop computer in its bag, a briefcase, a purse, or a small bag. So, if they are small, we can carry them with us onto the airplane. What items do we need to put in a small bag? Can anyone take a guess? Oh, important documents that we just talked about. Yes, exactly. Probably electronics, like mobile phones, laptops, tablets, smartphones, and cameras? That is correct. You should always bring any electronic device with a built-in lithium battery with you onto the plane. What about baby formula and diapers? My family will be traveling with a newborn baby. A small amount of baby formula and diapers are allowed on the plane. That is a relief. You can also take a stroller as part of your personal items. Do not forget documents and certificates as your personal items as well. Right. The third type of baggage is called hand baggage. This backpack is an example of hand baggage. But hand baggage is generally a small size piece of baggage. The maximum dimensions of your hand baggage is different depending on the airline you are flying on. So you will have to check your ticket to see what size your hand baggage can be. You can carry hand baggage with you onto the airplane. It must fit in the space under the seat or in the overhead compartment of the airplane. Can anyone guess what goes in hand baggage? It should be something valuable, since we carry them with us in the airplane. Right. Jewelry, watches, medications with prescription, and personal photos should also be packed in hand baggage. Should we bring our own food onto the airplane? My children will get hungry during the long flights. The airline will provide you with food on the plane. But you can bring packaged snacks. What about items like toothpaste, toothbrushes, and deodorant that we need in the airplane and at the airports? Can we carry them in our hand baggage? Yes, exactly. You may also want to pack a book and a few warm layers of clothing since it can be a bit cold inside the plane. You can also bring quiet toys if you travel with children. Everything else that you will not need until you arrive in Canada, you can pack in your checked baggage. I see. We know the different types of baggage now. Here is another thing to remember. There are certain things you cannot bring onto the plane in your hand baggage, or as personal items. I am holding some of those objects right now. Please tell me what they are. I see a knife, a nail cutter, and a bottle of a chemical with a flame symbol on it. Do you think you can bring any of these objects onto the airplane? No, some of those things seem dangerous. 
a person could start a fire or hurt someone. That is exactly right. Sharp and dangerous objects, such as nail cutters, pen knives, flammable materials, and sporting equipment, are not allowed inside the airplane. You can put some of those things in your checked baggage. Now, can you tell me what these items are? Soaps and shampoo? Yes, exactly. Only liquids, creams, and gels that are less than 100 milliliters each can be brought with you onto the plane. Any items like this should all be put into one clear plastic bag, like this one. The orientation facilitator holds up a plastic bag containing small bottles of liquids, creams, and gels. What about bar soap? Is that all right? My teenage daughter would want to bring it with her since her liquid soap is bigger than 100 milliliters. Bar soap is fine to bring in the plane with you because it is a solid, not a liquid. Okay. So each container should not be bigger than 100 milliliters. Is that correct? Yes. 100 milliliter containers are very small. That is correct. But the 100 milliliter rule only applies to your hand baggage, which is the baggage you bring with you onto the plane. You can pack liquids in larger bottles inside your checked baggage, since that will not be with you at your seat in the airplane. Ah, I see now. Why do they have rules like that? For safety reasons. Liquids and sharp objects can be dangerous in the airplane. Are there items that are not allowed, even in the checked baggage? Yes. Some foods, including meat, milk, dairy products, herbs, Spices, fruits, and vegetables are not allowed at all. Not even in my checked baggage? No, they should not be brought to Canada. What about plants? Plants, soil, woods, and seeds are not allowed to be brought to Canada either. Parts of animals, including skins, drugs, human bones, should also be left behind. I want to bring my television with me. Can I do that? Large electronic devices, including televisions and home appliances, are not allowed. Along with firearms, ammunition, weapons, and vehicles. If you bring them to Canada and do not declare them, you may need to pay a penalty or face prosecution when you arrive. What about animals? My family has a dog. There are restrictions on bringing live animals to Canada. But some passengers may be allowed to travel with a service animal. A service animal is a domesticated animal such as a dog that is specially trained to help certain people, such as a person with a disability. However, those people must pay for the service animal's transportation medical documents, and vaccinations. Can you tell us about baggage limits? How much baggage are we allowed to bring when we travel? Each airline has its own baggage limits, so you should check your itinerary or ask IOM operations staff about your baggage limits. How can I find out if my baggage meets baggage limits for my trip? Baggage limits are determined by size, weight, and the number of pieces of baggage. You can use a ruler or tape measure to see if your baggage is the acceptable size. What about the weight? You will need to weigh each piece of baggage using a scale and check the maximum weight in kilograms of each piece of baggage. How many pieces of baggage can each person bring? The number of pieces of baggage allowed per person is based on age. Check your ticket or ask IOM Movement Operations staff. Thank you. I will write that down. 
You said the number of pieces of baggage allowed per person depends on age. I have a question about my children's baggage. Will my children be allowed to bring their own checked baggage, hand baggage, and personal items? You are right. Baggage allowance depends on their age. All passengers aged two and older are allowed to bring the same amount of baggage as adults. How about children under the age of two? Passengers under the age of two will not have their own seat on the airplane, so they have different baggage allowances. Please make sure you follow the baggage limits set by the airline. If you do not, the airline may refuse to accept your baggage, or you may need to pay an additional fee. This fee is usually high. Are there any more questions? No, we have covered many things today. I wish my wife could have come today, but she had to stay home and rest with a newborn baby. I hope your wife will recover soon. Thank you. I am glad my teenage son Michael, my daughter Jasmine, and my mother-in-law could be here to learn all of this together. I am glad they could be here too. Canadian orientation abroad sessions are for refugees 13 years old and above. All family members are encouraged to attend the sessions before they leave for Canada. I feel much better prepared for my travels now. <laughs> Thank you. This has been so helpful. Remember, when you are packing, gather things based on importance, safety, restrictions, and weight. Check the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook if you want to try activities and practice packing. The Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook also has more details on what to pack. See you all in the next session. Good luck packing, everyone. Thanks. You too. End of dialogue unit.